بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہاؤ آئی یو آئی ہوپ یو آر انجوائنگ دی بیسٹ آف ویلتھ آئی ویلکم یو ان مائی کلاس دیٹ از انگلش فار گریٹ ٹو اینڈ وی آر لرننگ یونٹ سیون اٹس ٹائٹل از ہیپی انڈیپینڈنس ڈے مائی ڈیئر فیلو ٹیچرس دس لیسن پلان پاور پوائنٹ پریزنٹیشن اینڈ ورک شیٹ لنکس آر گیون یو می کلک اٹ ڈاؤن لوڈ اٹ فالو اٹ ایز اٹ از اور ماڈیفائڈ فار یور کنوینئنس آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈلیور مائی لیکچر اکارڈنگ ٹو دس لیسن پلان Yes, my dear students, today under the title of grammar, we are going to learn about joining words. Before this in English for grade 1, I have taught you about use of comma. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And in use of comma, we have learned to use and as well. Remember? So, we are going to learn further. to recognize and practice that words in a sentence join to make sense in the relation to each other. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah Al-Fatiha, verse 5, You alone we worship and you alone we ask for help for each and everything. Yes, my dear students, what this beautiful verse is telling us, we are talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are saying, Allah, you alone, we worship. We worship only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whenever we need help, we ask help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? So, better, whenever we are in any problem, Whom should we talk to? To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should make dua. Ya Allah, make the things easy for us. Right? Now, my dear children, look at that. Here, I have written add. This and is joining this sentence and what is coming after it. So, this is how we use different word as joining words. Right? So, before starting lecture, you tell me, where do we use comma? And what are joining words? Pause the video, answer these questions to your teacher and then come back. Yes, my dear students, I hope you have answered correctly that we use comma in a series of three or more than three naming words. So, whenever there are three or more than three things, three naming words, we join them by putting comma. Ali means we use comma over there. Ali, comma. This comma is basically a small pause. It means the sentence is going on. Ali, comma, Umar, comma, Bilal, and Usama. Now look, my dear students. First, we have separated these names by putting comma. And before last naming word, we use and. Right? So, how does it work? The first name, second, third, all are joined together by putting and. It means all of these four, Ali, Umar, Bilal and Usama are friends. So, this and is joining whatever I have written before this and whatever I have written after this, this and is basically joining these two parts of sentence. So, this is how we use joining words right do you understand and what are joining words joining words are used to connect basically what does join mean join means to connect so these words joining words means words which connect two words or two sentences and by joining them they make it one right so there are many joining words we will just learn these four and but or so so we learn where to use which joining word right first of all it's and and is used to join two naming words as i just told you when there are two naming words we join them by and ali and ahmad are friends right it means this is a naming word and this is another naming word and we have put and between them they both are ali and ahmad are friends 
So this is one use of and which joins two naming words, right? The second use we are going to learn is and is also used to join two sentences to make one sentence means we join two sentences we put and and it becomes one how look at this ahmad plays football okay ali plays basketball okay now if i want to join these two sentences how will i write ahmad plays football and after this i will not put comma i will remove i will not put, put full stop i will remove full stop and i will write and Ali plays football full stop. Now it's telling us it becomes these two sentences we join together by putting and between them and I have put a full stop at the end of sentence. Now these two sentences are joined together with and and it becomes one sentence. Do you understand? So this is we have learned two uses of and between naming words and between two sentences to make it one, right? The next joining word we are going to learn is but. Where do we use it? But is used as a contrast or opposite. Means when two sentences or two things are opposite to each other, we join them by using but. I like rice, but not noodles. It means whatever I have written first, this is opposite to this. I like rice but not noodles. They are opposite to each other. It means I like rice but I do not like noodles, right? So, we, here because they are opposite that is why I put but in these two options. Do you understand? Okay. The next is or. Where do we use or? Or is used as an alternative. Means there are two things. So, any one of uh, the things you can use. You can wear a hat or a cap. It means hat or cap are alternative. They are options. You have two options. You can wear a hat or a cap. So, or is telling you can choose one. All right. And the next is you can take ice cream or milkshake. Means you have both options. So, where you want to go? Ice cream or milkshake. The next is so. This joining word we used as a result or decision. For example, you offered five prayers a day. So, I am gi giving you a gift. Means you offered five prayers a day. Do you offer five prayers a day? Very good. Better you should try to offer five prayers with your mama because you are young. So, you should offer prayer at home. So, you offered five prayers a day. So, as a result, so I am giving you a gift. You deserve a gift. And I was feeling hungry. So, I made a sandwich. Right? So, this is how we use these joining words. Are you clear with the concept? Okay, let's see what does your book say about it. Joining words are used to connect two words or sentences as one. Right? So, joining words are? Bit of the joining words you are going to learn today are and, but, or, and so these four only. Okay. For example, Ahmad likes football, Saqib likes basketball. So we make it one Ahmad likes football and Saqib likes basketball. You can use a pen or a pencil. Why or? Because you can choose one between them. Now, you know where to use and, where to use or, where to use but and where to use so. Are you clear? All right. So, let's practice it through an activity. Teacher will divide class in group of fours. Okay. So, in every group there will be four members. Each student will be given a joining word. One will be given and, but or so. Right. Teacher will write a sentence on board leaving joining word space blank and group members will first they will discuss and decide who is going to fill the gap okay so every uh, student in a group will be given one joining word one will be given and other will be one but the other will be or and so so teacher will write a sentence and group first you will discuss and then you will decide the member and or but or so or 
is going to fill the gap. Are you clear with the activity? Okay, so pause the video, enjoy this beautiful activity and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. I hope now you are clear with the concept of using these four joining words, right? So, let us practice it from your book. You will fill in the blanks with correct joining word. Sentences are given, you have to select the correct joining word. You will read the sentence and be careful in selecting the correct joining word, right? Pause the video, complete this exercise in your book and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. Now, it is time for your homework. You will write 10 sentences using joining words. And I am giving you a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers. This worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. And my dear students, what you are going to do? There are four joining words given. You have to choose the correct to fill in the blanks for each sentence. So, be careful. And you have to recall all the rules where to use but and or so, right? Okay. So, what we have learned today, we learned to recognize and practice that words in a sentence join to make sense in relation to each other. And we achieved our SLO to recognize and practice that words in a sentence join to make sense in relation to each other. Are we done with it? Yes. So, that's it for today. Tomorrow I will come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.